Horror games is overexposure. Resident Evil, Amnesia, even PT itself, which is often considered scary enough to be a free laxative alternative, can never elicit the same shrill screams of terror on repeated playthroughs. It's that damned sense of security, fostered by familiarity, that denies us the sought after adrenaline rush on return visits. And short of a memory wipe, there's no way to have that same first time experience again. Fortunately, developers love making nightmares fuel just as much as we love consuming it, even to the extent that some such offerings inevitably slip by unnoticed. The genre's niche appeal always makes getting the word out tough, though, and with only the lucky few penetrating pop culture via viral exposure, we're left to sniff out those rare gems eagerly waiting to provide a nasty thrill ride. If you're looking for ways to stave off the ever-present Sandman in the near future, granting your time to any of these great will ensure that you never sleep again. My name is Rach and welcome back to What Culture Gaming. These are 8 underrated horror games you must play before you die. Number 8. Observer Further mind-melting psychological horror escapades courtesy of rising indie star Bloober Team. Set in a dystopic future version of the Polish city of Krakow, Observer's cyberpunk-infused cityscape wears its Blade Runner inspirations on its sleeve. It is home to Daniel Lazarski, a police detective and member of the titular Observer's special unit. In this far-flung future, Lazarski and his fellow observers enforce the law, not through contemporary means, but by invasively hacking the minds of potential suspects through the use of the aptly named Dream Eater. Scripted scares are a plenty in Observer and are almost always well executed, but that's not the true source of its horror. As if the nightmarish existence essential themes it touches upon weren't enough to cause extreme unease, Lazarski literally inserting his consciousness into the minds of potential killers and drug abusers and facing the surreal terrors within is truly nerve-wracking. Credit too goes to the accompanying sound and atmospheric design, which is enough alone to crush your spirit and any desire to move forward. Fantastic stuff! Number 7. Siren – Blood Curse High school student Howard Wright books a trip to the allegedly haunted Japanese village of Hanuda off the back of a mysterious email, because why not, right? Only to discover upon arrival that, in the world of video games, such rumours always turn out to be true. Hordes of Shibito, murderous zombies that still retain some semblance of intelligence, roam the village as a result of the Hanuda people's manor religion, demanding human sacrifice, a way of life that Howard and a still-living TV documentary crew aren't particularly keen on sticking around to be a part of. The horror is all about that sight jack. The system, which splits the game screen in two, has the player character play out their escape through third person on one side and view the world through the eyes of the surrounding Shibitu on the other. Its shtick is to use the latter viewpoint as a means to know when it's safe to move from cover and bolt for the nearest escape route, a juggling act that ramps up the stomach knotting tension to digestively dangerous levels. The Shibito can't truly die either, so even if you feel safe after downing one with the pitiful ammo reserves available, it won't be their end. It'll probably be yours though. Have fun. Number 6. Detention Mixing side-scrolling adventure with slow-burn horror is a daring genre mix, one that Taiwanese developer Red Candle Games deftly pulled off with detention. Students Wei Ching Ting and Fang Rei Shin are left stranded and alone at school after the onset of a storm floods the only exit. With fear and isolation creeping in, Wei goes looking for a phone to communicate the pair's predicament, leaving Shin to experience the nightmare to follow all on her lonesome. Something bigger than a kitchen knife is needed to cut through detention's thick atmosphere. Such is its masterfully scored soundtrack and diegetic sound design that the weight of its sorrowful world can almost be felt on your own two shoulders. That, coupled with the game's setting in Red Candle's homeland during the White Terror period and its direct contribution to Shin's sad story, results in a heart-achingly tragic ending. Horror carries with it all kinds of supernatural connotations, but in Detention's case, it's the cruelty of fate and love that make it a harrowingly dark experience. 
Number 5. System Shock 2 Picking up just shy of a century after the original game, Irrational Games' sequel charts the maiden voyage of the Van Braun into unknown space and its subsequent discovery of a distress beacon that should have been left well enough alone. A parasitic species of worms accompanies the distress call's first responders back to their ship and proceeds to infect and mutate all but one crew member. Spoiler alert, that is you. It's left to you, nameless soldier, to stop the infection from reaching Earth even if that means confronting its malevolent creator. Credited as it is for being the spiritual predecessor to Bioshock as Ken Levine worked on both, System Shock 2 was leagues ahead of its time, a forward-thinking design philosophy that gamers apparently weren't ready for at the time as sales bombed. Today, it's beginning to show its age, but if you ever find yourself deeply unsettled by Bioshock's dystopian underwater city and its crazed splicers, System Shock 2 is definitely worth the look, even just to meet its iconic villain. The alternative is to wait for Night Dive Studios to finish up work on its quasi-remake, although who knows when that project will finally reach fruition. Number 4. Soma as far as Simon Jarrett knows, the year is 2015 and he's about to begin the long road to recovery after a severe car crash left him with devastating injuries. Presumably passing out following a brain scan, Jarrett awakes, not in hospital, but on board an underwater research facility devoid of humans, automated entirely by machines. So begins his journey to uncover why the latter are exhibiting human behaviour and how in the hell he wound up on the ocean floor. You are the only living human on a station 20,000 leagues under the sea, populated only by murderous robots and monsters. Sounds pretty spooky, right? For the same reasons that Frictional's amnesia scared the bejeebus out of players, the inability to fight back against attackers and faced with no other option than to hide ramps the tension way past 11. The system isn't as effective as it was back in 2010, but combined with a claustrophobic setting, a dread-inducing atmosphere and a genuinely unnerving philosophical spotlight on what it means to be human, SOMA is an altogether terrifying package. Number 3. Layers of Fear if you've ever wondered what it's like to experience a psychotic break and the subsequent descent into madness that follows, Bloober Team's finest work to date has you covered. Paintbrush in one hand, artist's palette in the other, Layers of Fear's unnamed protagonist returns to his Victorian era family home to start work on his magnum opus. Not an easy aspiration for any creative mind. Certainly not one that has to contend with the depravity of his past. Structurally, there's little separating Layers of Fear from Bloober's other works or even contemporaries like Outlast, but it's the world, not the gameplay, that defines its scares. You know that the house presented to you through the artist's eyes is ordinary, but as his mental state deteriorates, your confidence to push forward declines in tandem. The rules of reality no longer apply, meaning everything, including the rows of creepy portraits adorning the walls, could come alive at a moment's notice to give you the fright of your life. In Layers of Fear, the eyes on the wall really do follow your every move, and those eyes belong to a terrifying baby Henry VIII. Number 2. Anatomy Spooky hoose? Check. Exploration revolving around the collection of informative cassette tapes? Check. Unarmed and vulnerable? Check, mate. At face value, Anatomy describes itself as little more than another solidly scary walking simulator packed with jump scares and the like. But in reality, derivative is the last word you'd use to describe developer Kitty Horror Show's bite-sized psychological horror. There are no monsters in Anatomy, no jump scares or chase sequences. It's just you the unnamed and unassuming protagonist exploring a house that, in its simplest sense, is alive. Aforementioned videotapes scattered around the house make the metaphor of houses mimicking the human body clear as day, but it's a connection not meant to be meaningful. With progress comes the realization that you're not welcome within this sentient home, its walls and vein-like hallways steadily becoming increasingly distorted and surreal, all the while threatening that something is going to happen. The anxiety of not knowing is a cliff edge that anatomy keeps you teetering on from start to finish. Number 1. Call of Cthulhu – Dark Corners of the Earth 
Dark Corners of the Earth sold a pitiful 5,000 copies in its country of origin on launch. A criminally small number for arguably the best adaptation of H.P. Lovecraft's cryptic horror fiction to ever grace a games console. Police detective Jack Walters, rehabilitated and released from the asylum following a traumatic event six years prior, gets straight back into work as a private detective. His first assignment being that of a missing person case at Innsmouth. As expected of Lovecraft's cosmic horror, Innsmouth's population has gone a touch do lally after the influence of demigods Dagon and Mother Hydra, and Jack's forced to continue his investigation in the midst of a bloodthirsty, brainwashed mob. Remember your very first run-in with Ganado in Resident Evil 4's fictional backwater Spanish village? Yeah, Dark Corners adopts that very same palpable sense of hostility, but constantly, without even the briefest respite. Jack isn't a special agent armed to the teeth, he's an ordinary man trapped in a town self-removed from wider society. The sense of isolation only comes to an end when Jack escapes Innsmouth. But that's when even worse horrors from the deep claw themselves out of the sea. And that's our list. What culture gaming accepts no responsibility for any sleep lost during the playing of these games? Thank you so much for watching, guys. Once again, my name has been Rach. You can like, you can share, you can subscribe, all those lovely things that lovely people do. But we will see you tomorrow. Have an awesome day.